Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss the last problem of Google Pixel Round C 2022, which is palindromic relation. So uh, we we will be given a string s of length n, and uh, we will delete that all the characters of uh, s sequentially. So it could be uh, in any permutation of uh, like uh, length n. Let's say the string is like a b c. So at the first try, we can either delete c. Or I can we can either delete B or we can either delete A. So after deleting, there would be three possibilities. One will be A B, and second will be B C, and third will be A C. And for each possibility, we can delete this uh, any character of this string also. So we can delete this or we can delete this. We can delete this or this. We can delete this or this. Okay. So what are the total number of uh, like permutations possible? Total number of permutations possible is three factorial. So uh, for one to three, we'll say for the permutation one to three, we will delete a first, then b second, and c third. For the permutation three one two, we will delete c first, and then a second and b third like that. So the total number of possibilities is n factorial. Okay. So what uh, is given to us? Like what is the question? So when we delete a character from the string, let's say our given string is a b a c. Let's say then we delete the last character c. After deleting the character, if the remaining string is a palindrome, we will eat one candy. Okay, we will eat one candy, and then again, if we delete B, then again this A is a palindrome, so we will again eat one candy. And after again deleting any of the A, we uh, the remaining string is a palindrome, so we will eat one candy. And after deleting this, the empty string is also a palindrome, so we will eat. One candy. So uh, I think the um, for this it will be uh, like the permutation will be four two one three or four two three one. So for the permutation four two one three, we are eating four candies. So for every permutation, for for n factorial number of permutation, we are finding the total number of candies eaten, and uh, we have to find the expected number of candies candies eaten. So we have to find that uh, let's say C I is the uh, candies eaten in the ith permutation, then we have to find this case summation of ci divided by n factorial. So, this is the question, and at the end, we have to return it modulo 10 to the 1 9 plus 7. Okay, so let's discuss the approach now. Now, let us imagine uh, there is a substring like subsequence of the given uh, our given string. Let's say our given string is a, b, c, d, a, c, a. So, let's say a, b, a is our uh, like uh, subsequence after deleting um, like this. this this, this and this, we get ABA. So, ABA will generate one candy, right? ABA is palindrome, so we will get uh, one candy after uh, getting ABA. So, let's take what is the contribution of ABA. So, like, what are the possibilities when ABA will get uh, us one candy? So, we you can check that there are four number of uh, values here. So, we can delete them in any order. Say, let's say we can delete, uh, let's say. This first, let's say this A will delete first, then we will delete this A, then we will delete this C, then we will delete this C. Okay, or or we can start with deleting this A and then again delete this C, or again delete this A and again delete this C. So there are four characters, so we can like delete them in four factorial number of ways. So we can delete them in four factorial number of ways. So after deleting four factorial number of ways, we will get ABA and we will get one candy. But uh, when after uh, after getting ABA. Then we will delete this now. So we can uh, we will remove this a, or we, then we will remove this a, or we will remove this a, this b. Right. So the uh, uh, for removing this a b a, we are we have three factorial number of choices. So we have four factorial number of choices when we are deleting this three. Okay, this four, and we are deleting the next three characters, three factorial number of choices. Okay, so. Uh, that is uh, like page. So we have to delete first four characters first, and then we have to delete the last three characters. Okay, remaining characters. So for four factorial into three factorial uh, number of times, the ABA will generate one point. Okay, I think you got it. So let's take another example, and I will try to explain you the same thing. Let's say this is A B C D A. Now uh, let's take uh, for the A subsequence. What is the number of times it is generating uh, one candy? So we have to delete these three things. So total number of possibilities is three factorial. And after deleting these three, we will uh, eat one candy. And after that, we have to remove this A again. So we have to, we can do it in two factorial ways. So A will generate uh, like uh, one candy. 
in total permutation three factorial into two factorial okay i hope you got it now let's take uh, what is given to us our uh, value of n is 400 so after checking this value of n we can say that order of n cube is accept accepted so what is my approach my personal approach is that i have done it with dp so uh, i am storing dp i j k so dp i j k means what does it mean uh, so in the number of subsequences this is the number of subsequences of length k subsequences sequences uh, so number of subsequences of length k in the substring i to j k so dp i j k means the number of subsequences of length k in the substring uh, is of i to j now uh, uh, how, what is the formula of dp i j k so let's figure it out so dp i j k will be what dp i j k will be let's say let's say there are two conditions here let's say if s i equals to equals to s j so the first and the last character of the substring is same so if s i equals to equals to s j what we can do is that dp i j could be like dp i plus 1 j minus 1 j minus 2 okay i, I hope you got it so dp, if the first and the last character is same so dp i j will be dp i, uh, I plus 1 j minus 1 and k minus 2 okay, so we uh, when s i equals to s j we are including the both i and j and if we don't include i and j here it is including i and j now when these two are not equal or equal, uh, we cannot include these two. So there is a possibility that we are not including these two. So dp i j k plus equals to dp i plus 1 j minus 1 k. Sorry, this is not i plus 1 j minus 1 k. This is i plus 1 j k plus dp i j minus 1 k. Now you can check is that there will be some subsequences where, which are overlapping in both dp i plus 1 j k and dp i j minus 1 k. So, what are this number of subsequences which is overlapping in both uh, i plus 1 j and i j minus 1? It is it will be obviously dp i plus 1 j minus 1 k. So, we have to subtract this thing. So, that is uh, the case. So, dp i j k will be dp, this is i dp i j k. So, dp i j k will be uh, dp i plus 1 j minus 1 k minus 2 if s i equals to s j. And here we are excluding, excluding i and j. S i and S j obviously. So this is the recurrence relation. So we have to uh, calculate dp i j k in such a way. Now we have to calculate the answer from dp i j. So let's figure it out how we are getting answer from dp i j k. Now I have already explained is that if there is a uh, subsequence, um, the subsequent palindromic subsequence of length k. So uh, and we, we will get f of k into f of n minus k, uh, a, f is obviously the factorial, so f is factorial. So for every subsequence of length k, we'll, uh, the contribution of uh, it will be f k into f of n minus k where f is factorial. So now uh, when we are getting dp i j k, dp i j k means the number of uh, different, uh, sorry, the number of distinct subsequences between i to j which is of length k. So, this, uh, so these are uh, excluding i and j. So this will not uh, contribute to our answer because this will be either be affected in i plus 1 jk or ij minus 1k. So we have to add this to our answer. So answer will be added to dp ijk into into what? Into uh, f of f of f of k into into f of n minus k. So at the end, what will we return? Let me. At the end, what will we return? We will return our final answer. Answer will be initialized with 0. So at the end we will return answer by answer by what? A factorial of n. Okay, I hope you got it. So uh, now I will explain you my code. So it is the main function of my code. Uh, so it, this is factorial. So I am calculating factorial uh, before any of the test cases. So it is just pre-calculating. Uh, you can do it inside the loop also it does not matter because the time complexity is not that high uh, so uh, what we are doing is that we are initializing dp i j k by 0 and dp i j 1 so that's the case uh, dp i j 1 and let's say uh, the number of okay let me write it 
so what is dpij1 and dpij1 means that the number of subsequences between i to j with length 1 it will be equals to the length of the uh, subsequence so j minus i plus 1 will be dpij1 so yet i am taking maximum zero error because uh, uh, j could be less than i also you can do that in any other way possible and dpij0 is equals to 1 so the number of subsequences with length 0 will be equals to 1 now uh, here is the loop uh, i am looping for i equals to n minus 1 to 0 and j will be equals to i plus 1 comma n i hope you all know, know that because we have done it in number of, uh, like maximum length parenthetic subsequent problem and uh, if base i equals to sj uh, i am doing the same thing i have explained here this is the same thing i have explained here you can check my code and at the end i am returning answer into power of fn uh, comma mod n, uh, in minus mod minus 2 so i hope you all know that if there is p by q uh, mod something we will just return it by doing p into q to the power mod minus 2 uh, modulo mod okay i hope you all know that so i will just add my code to the like uh, in the description box you can check it out if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will try to explain Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.